La Familia is before us, and they are all business. Came up the hard way, paid their dues, and now reaping success. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 472 pounds, the NXT Tag Team Champions, Tony D'Angelo and Channing Lorenzo, the D'Angelo family. If you mess with the family, you pay the price. Tony and Stax ready to deal some lessons. These men own the streets, about to own all of WWE. Here comes a high-flying hunk. And their opponents, first representing the LWO from Monterey, Mexico, weighing in at 198 pounds, Uberto! An athlete who is both captivating and handsome, a true smooth operator between the ropes with lethal ability. taking control of his own destiny. This is the newly focused, and some have said revitalized, Baron Corbin. A man who believes he's returned to his roots, who's gone back to basics. Corbin's come out here looking for a fight, and you can believe that's what we're about to get. And from Kansas City, weighing in at 285 pounds, Baron A perfect hybrid athlete, size, speed, strength, and skill. Baron Corbin, one of the most dominant forces to attack a WWE ring in recent memory. His past destroyed, Baron Corbin looks to unleash some pent-up aggression here tonight. I, for one, cannot wait to see it. Here we go, all set to see the D'Angelo family firm tighten their grip on the WWE Tag Team Division. Yeah, Cole, but the harder you grip, the easier it is for things to slip through your fingers. There are a lot of teams hoping to knock Tony D and Stacks off their game and take control for themselves. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world, and family needs to be as much bite as they are bark. I expect we'll see all the bite they have to give here tonight. There's a lot of heat between these teams. I expect some personal shots to be taken in this one. I think the personal shots began before the match even started. And now it's a matter of what team... From the top. Ooh. Top one down. Fortune favors the bold. These risks could be a winning strategy. Just laying it in. Tony D'Angelo hyping up the crowd. And Tony didn't see that coming. the shoulder up. Not enough pressure. 
Foster on the pin. enough to knock a normal person out. Left by the turnbuckles. Tag is good. Oh, oh man. Shot right to the midsection. Tandem offense in effect. A good team knows how to truly work as one. Man in. Ooh. Impact in the corner. Close line in the corner. That's a tag. to the midsection. He wasn't tough enough contending with one opponent. Now you got to deal with two. What a clothesline. He's looking a little weary now. Yeah, this is exactly why constant, frequent tags are so important in a match like this. To keep fresh. the tag. Larian. Ah, takedown. And now punches right. Good night. Nothing was being held back with each of those strikes. He's been placed in the corner now. Uh-oh. Face first in the turnbuckle. They have them in the corner. Big oh. splash in the corner. That was more splatter than splash. Oh, and a right hand for good measure. And Stax didn't figure out a defense for that maneuver. You could almost feel the intensity coming from Corbin on that attack. I see a few teeth on the floor. And that was a precisely measured attack. Just hot shot it to the outside. Stacks just goading his opponent. into the corner. Oh, draping double axe handle. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Oh. Almost ended it there. This is no time to hesitate. You can feel the end coming. Boom. Able to reverse that. Look at this, going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. Wrist lock, using the ropes. Arm drag. Ah, oh, look at this, just cranking it out. Cranking the head. D'Angelo one step ahead. And now this is the right move. Get out of Dodge and collect yourself. 
And Zagiri finds its mark. And it looks like he might have just caught Tony D napping. Umberto causing damage, causing harm. Sizing him up. Up and down into the protoplex. And Corbett's laid out. Pin. And there's the save. He went right into that turnbuckle. Dax gets countered. Oh, look at this. What a headbutt. Ooh, that can knock you out. And the Don hooks the leg. Tony Davis could do it. going on here ah oh, some taunting going on you know I can't say I'm surprised
Now, I like the way this matchup's starting. Well, some good sportsmanship, or <laughs> maybe not. Now's no time for sportsmanship. These two want to tear each other apart. It was just a handshake. Byron, is this what you would consider mind games? Well, it sure seems like it. I'm not sure it's going to work, though. Well, this match is underway, but as we just saw, there's clearly a lack of respect between these superstars. Mind games are definitely at play here, gentlemen. Getting into your opponent's head, making them question every step and move they make, that's why you do something like that. Yeah, you cannot deny how even the smallest change in game plan can have long-lasting effects as the match continues. A torturous knee. No! Oh, no! Crashing hard onto the floor! Brass decision-making there proved to be extremely detrimental. Can you recover from such an error? You have to wonder. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Elbow drop. Piercing. Angel not backing down one bit. Saw that one coming. Running Hurricane Rana. Agility like that is what can set you apart from the rest of the locker room. Good timing with that reversal. Referee's count only getting higher. Come on, got to get back in the ring. Bash straight into the post on the outside. There's a snap mare delivered and precise drop kick to the base of the skull. He goes for the quick pin attempt. A kick out. This one's not over yet. A little too soon for that cover to be effective, but he is making a statement by going for it at this point. And it looks like they have no problem bending the rules there. Debilitating attacks like that are exactly how you create a big opening. And you're facing Angel. What are you looking out for? Well, Angel's going to cut corners, and he's going to do a very good job of doing so. So you have to be two steps ahead of him at all times. The more you can control the pace and keep him in your sights, the harder it'll be for him to play dirty. Now starts to fight out with some punches to the gut. A sling blade. Followed up with a basement drop kick. Jab after another. Raymond up, say Chief. Oh, connects on the kick. Ooh, ooh, stinking kick. He steers clear of contact. Basement drop kick. The temple's being made a target. Oh, kick right in the back. He'll wind up Bill right to the back of the neck he's absorbing some tough hits now and hanging tough but beginning to show some wear and tear might want to think from the top elbow drop oh, oh perfect kick angel showing his instinct running hurricane rana fantastic sometimes you just gotta show off and show up Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? Ah, stops to legs. Look at this, just punishing the knee. Shot after shot after shot. Hammer it away. You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. Ooh, well measured. turns him around for Duke. And that can be a first step towards Duke gaining control. He's hoping to start a rush of his own with that attack. Butterfly pile driver! Taking the fight near our announce table. 
I really hope we get these desks at a discount. Shifts it back onto him. Oh, come on. Double count out. This one just spiraled out of control. Someone's about to be taught a grappling lesson. A painful one, no doubt. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Weighing in at 193 pounds, Drew Gulak. This is a man who certainly is never shy about torturing his opponents. Something for the next anything. Drew Gulak is highly Ooh. skilled. Probably simulated this match in Crazy WWE enough. 2K a dozen times already. Well, it's just called analyzing the angles and having a plan in mind. standard in WWE and his opponent from Apple Valley Minnesota weighing in at 220 pounds Damon Kemp a Greco-Roman background one of the top competitors in Minnesota's collegiate wrestling scene that quite simply winning is in this man's DNA Damon Kemp has earned multiple gold medals on the map yeah, a collegiate wrestling standout who has quickly made an impact here in WWE. Love him or hate him, he has what it takes to reach the top of WWE. Drew Gulak seems to always have a chip on his shoulder. Always fighting hard like he's got something to prove and everything to lose. It's one of the many things I respect about Gulak. Along with the impressive in-ring skill set he's developed over nearly two decades. Yeah, and when Gulak combines all that in-ring knowledge with his tenacious attitude, he's been known to produce some pretty spectacular results. And Damon Kemp has to be looking to take this one to the mat. Most likely, Saxton, but it's not just Kemp's expert mat knowledge that makes him so dangerous. It's his desire to stop at nothing to solidify himself at the top. That shot on Gulak did not miss. Jeez. Oof. Oh, what a kick. If Drew Gulak wants to pick up the win tonight, he needs to control the pace. A methodical approach will ensure his opponent's destruction. I think you're onto something there, Corey, and I'm sure Gulak would love the opportunity to slowly pull apart his opponent. Running STO plants him. Nicely done. Ooh, sharp elbow. Pinning down their opponent's arm and a carefully measured knee drop. Gulak wants to fly. Watch out. Oh, God, that, that, that's a bad. Landing. The high risk just resulted in a big splat. Hammering down on the knee. That 
that showed a complete lack of respect for your competition and for our sport. And he barely evades. Backbreaker. Ooh. Strikes with a kick. Ooh. He's struggling a bit here. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. That was just malicious. Just disrespectful. Trying to get that mental edge. You can't let yourself get psyched out. Oh, what a close line. Precarious position for both superstars. Oh, gosh. Nasty. The hardest part of the ring. Imagine having to continue competing after eating the apron like that. Kick gets caught. That's how you stop your opponent. What are you waiting for? Get back in there. You tell him, Saxton. Counters on counters. Technical prowess on display. Tough spot to be in right now for Drew Gulak. I don't want to say he's done, but I can hear the fat lady warming up. Maybe all that studying Drew Gulak does needs to come to the surface somehow. Electric chair looking to counter somehow. No! How about a point to Rana instead? Gulak's looking to wrap this one up. Half Nelson applied. Ooh. Into a neck breaker. Phenomenal. Bailey Carl, a taste of his own medicine. Uh, time to enjoy the win. A oh, familiar face here joining in on the celebration. This has got to feel good. Not only do you win the match, you got your friend there to celebrate with you.
Mellow is money. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Boston, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 210 pounds, the NXT champion, Carmelo Hayes. You hear him say it. You hear the fans say it. Mello, don't miss. Yeah, for once, I agree with you, Saxton. Any goal Hayes sets his sights on, he tends to accomplish in short order. And that has only fueled Carmelo's confidence. He believes he was destined for the big time from the very start of his career. Well, he does a good job proving just that when he gets inside the ring. Carmelo Hayes looks eager to get things done. This dude is one of the most impressive young superstars we've seen. Braun Breaker on a meteoric rise in WWE. And his opponent from Woodstock, Georgia, weighing in at 230 pounds, Braun Breaker. We've seen a fury to Braun Breaker, a fiery temper that fuels him in the ring. And that fire cannot be extinguished. Mello may be money, but this guy says he's going to cancel that check here tonight. The brass competent Carmelo Hayes set for competition in this one. When it comes to his in-ring ability, Carmelo Hayes is second to none. High-flying, high-octane, the kind of superstar you cannot keep your eyes off. He just happens to have an abundance of confidence and personal faith over that fact. You're right, Byron. You truly cannot keep your eyes off Hayes when he gets going, and he very much knows that. And he has to deal with a man dead set on forging his own path with no qualms about who he has to bulldoze through in order to do so. Yeah, since entering this business, Braun Breaker has only built upon the solid foundation laid by his family. Tonight, his every from the top. Dominant elbow drop, are you kidding me? And Hayes' confidence perhaps just got a little shaken. A powerhouse display by Breaker. The hype is real, gentlemen. A lot of ways Carmelo Hayes could seal this one up tonight. What's his surest path to victory? I don't think there's just one. Melo's talent comes from his confidence and vice versa. Hayes needs to trust his natural ability because it's an everlasting resource. Springboard clothesline. Cover. Kick out before the one count. At this point in the match, I'm not surprised. He got whipped into that corner. Mello scales all the way up. Oh, what a close line. Big forearm. Denied via a wicked punch to the stomach. right to the face reversal can he take advantage dismantling the arm in the corner gotta hurt you can see the intent behind that attack exploiting the arm must be the strategy here my god enough 
Set back into the ring. Springboard. Oh, oh, my. Oh, my. Big forearm. A big arm for a Fujiwara arm bar. Oh, Fujiwara arm bar applied. He could pin his opponent right here. LH's shoulder ahead of the count. Not even a near fall there. Both knees into the face. Simply effortless from Hayes. Mello showing he was born to make things look easy. Dodge. Right. Check out this display of power by Braun Breaker way overhead. Oh, look at the military press and turns it into a power slam. Carmelo makes the cover. With a cause for concern. No, my. Close. I truly thought it was all over there. Talk about resilience. Yeah, but did you see how the referee had to get into position? That was all the difference. And Breaker cannot believe that wasn't enough to put him away. Tucked world face buster. Wow. Placed into the corner. Left off, paying it right back with a reversal. Just tremendous raw power from Braun Breaker. The military press into the power slam. Breaker might have her. Listen to the WWE fans here. And that's what you want to see. Good sportsmanship after a competitive... What the... Seriously? Seriously. What a shame. Don't blink or you'll miss Nathan Frazier. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Jersey in the Channel Islands, weighing in at 182 pounds, Nathan Frazier. Nathan Frazier in a short time has already proven to be one of the best high flyers in all of WWE. And he's also proven he'll rattle everyone's cages and tell some hard-hitting truths. I like this guy.
one of the UK's best exports. And his opponent from Dudley, England, weighing in at 175 pounds, Tyler Bates. Well, Bates made a real name for himself on both sides of the Atlantic. A founding member of NXT UK and now a fixture in NXT in the U.S. Yeah, do yourself a favor and look up his NXT UK Championship battles against the likes of Gunther and Butch. Some of the best matches in NXT history. Bate has run the show in every form of NXT, but still has much to prove in all of WWE. Uh-oh, no! What a malicious attack. This is about getting the edge, not making friends, Saxton. There we go. Super Darth finally entered the ring, and we are officially underway. Ouch. Did you hear that impact? He went right into that turnbuckle. So what does Tyler Bate have to do in order to leave here victorious? Bates is very good at wearing opponents down over time, but he has to be wary of tiring himself out. He has to be ready to flip that switch and not let things get to a point where he runs out of steam. Set to the outside, no. Hanging on for dear life, not for long. It's a dive, oh, no, wait, maybe not. You got fooled again, Byron. And that'll be a rope break right there. Bullseye! Bam! He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Yeah, Nathan put that right on target. Set up in the corner of the ring. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. He thinks he has it. And he manages to kick out in one. Staying in this one. Oh, God. Uh, left hit by German. You have to be in peak physical condition to pull off a move with that much weight behind it. Oh, right to the shoulder. Uh, Tyler Bates with a standing shooting star. Showing off the quickness, that'll turn things around in a hurry. Out of the ring, what's his plan here? Oh my gosh, what impact! Strong Whoa. kick, my goodness. Shoulder, and it looks like his opponent found an answer for Frazier's offense. Ah, oh, look at this, just cranking it out. Just cranking the head. Amazing what this youngster Tyler Bate can do. And Tyler Bate flipping the switch, hitting that second gear, and wearing down his opponent. To the German. I do not see this match going on much longer with too many more moves like that from there. You have got to be in elite physical condition to pull off something like that. Ooh, bullseye! Kick to the stomach. This is just establishing dominance followed by the stomp. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Nathan is undergoing a thrashing. Yeah, Bate is appearing unstoppable. From way up, diving double axe handle. Taken down. Nicely done. A kick out, and you can see the frustration starting to build. Channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. That 
That's the power of bait coming into play. Just so much fun to watch. From the top. He misses the target. Short flight, but a rough landing. Taking it to the shoulder. Uh, Tyler Bates with a standing shooting star. Bates looking to humiliate his opponent. He has a task at hand, but prefers to be showboating right now. Oh, he fights bait back. Insecurity finds its mark. This is it. His arm shot off the mat before one. I'm having a hard time believing that one. There he goes, right into the corner. It's a hurry. Brutal form. He's stomping away. Standing shooting star press. Knees up. Knees were up. All the breath taken out of their body with that counter. Setting up. Nice suplex. Taking this to the floor. And down with the suplex. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. And this is just outrageous power. Into it, Sherman. And that was a well-targeted attack. Measured kick to the vertebrae. And he gets set back into the ring. Tyler Bay with all the confidence of a young man and none of the intelligence. Stay on him, kid. Clearly targeting the shoulder. A showcase of skill from Bate. Nathan's got to slow down this assault. Set up for a second time. Did Bate end it there? For the win! Two! Tyler Bate scores a huge victory. Here is your winner, Tyler Bates. It's all over, and Tyler Bates stands victorious. Success following Tyler Bates once more. Let's give it up to the big, strong boy.